Welcome to Thrifty Garage. In today's video, we got an unboxing. And in today's video, we're gonna do unboxing on this Philrite FR1210G. This is a pump for a transfer tank. So let's dig into it and see what's inside. Expandable standpipe. We've got a manual nozzle. We've got a street elbow. Some wire nuts, some fittings. Looks like a grommet. Some wire um, instructions. Here's some wire. Looks like got two wire. One for positive, one for negative. Looks like a very quality hose. Feel the right hose. Made in the USA. Pumps in the bottom. There's the pump, nice and hefty. I really like that black, that stands out nice. I'm not sure what this is, looks like the uh, a locking cover perhaps, I would assume. And that's it, we're empty. So looks like they've uh, preluded this in the factory. Looks like there's just some uh, multi-purpose grease on there. This looks like a very inexpensive nozzle, perhaps we'll upgrade this in the future. And there's the standpipe. We've got our pump, three quarter inch hose, our cable, the ground wire, and a tiny bit of Teflon. I think I'll use piped open instead. Um, these galvanized fittings, I don't have very good luck with this uh, Teflon tape. Here's a look at the manual. Looks like you can use them on a, a bigger tank. You want a three inch minimum on the bottom with a vent cap. So this is a typical skid installation, not our application. AC wiring. We will be uh, DC wiring this. So DC electrical wiring, number six. Wiring instructions. Wiring two vehicles, electrical system, bypass the electrical wire source, blah, blah, blah. So as far as how this goes together, Obviously the standpipe screws in the bottom here. Um, this is where it will thread into the tank. And then we've all obviously got an outlet. Okay, so here's our outlet. We've got two warnings here. We've got one on here and this warning here. Don't fuel aircraft, read owner's manual, use a ground wire. So here's where the ground wire connects. Okay, here's a look at everything all laid out. We've got our standpipe, we've got our filler nozzle, wiring, the pump, and our hose. And we've got our miscellaneous connectors, street elbow, a little, uh, looks like a replacement bolt, a few wire nuts in here, a wiring grommet, some Teflon tape, a grounding wire, um, grounding wire connects to here. We can pull this panel off and there's a plug on the back side here that we can pop out and run our wires through. And that's where this grommet will go into place. Our uh, three quarter inch line will go in here and we're gonna go out into a filter because we'll be using diesel fuel. Okay, here we've got all those products laid out. Um, I did miss this uh, cap in that last one. In addition to the FR1210G, I also picked up this uh, filter head kit. And as you can see here, what's inside that. We'll go ahead and do a quick unboxing. And uh, we'll do that as part of this install um, because I'll be using diesel fuel. I wanted to put a filter kit on there as well. Okay, let's open up this filter head kit. Very heavy duty fitting here. This is the, the head portion. On the top here we've got an out and an in labeled and a direction of flow as well as a mating surface for that rubber gasket. We've got our pipe and here it's showing us how to put it together. We've got our pump outlet, we've got a nipple and elbow, we've got a street elbow going in to the filter head, a street elbow coming out and then we're coming out to our hose on this side. Um, so this riser is gonna get us the height we need off of our transfer tank so we can clear this filter. And you can go to the hardware or home improvement store and pick up more fittings. Uh, here's a couple more fittings. We've got a, an extension nipple, 
three quarter inch as well, and then a regular elbow. So coming out of this filter head, you can run this um, going down uh, to your hose. Aim your hose downward on the, the truck or whatever transfer tank you have. And here's a look at that fuel dispenser filter. We'll go ahead and unbox that for you. Okay, here's that fuel dispenser filter. It's just a uh, tall, like a cartridge oil filter. It's a 10 micron. Uh, this will reduce your flow some. Uh, so uh, be prepared for that, but uh, diesel is what you're going to want to do. Got some instructions in here. Thanks for watching this video. Um, hope it helped you understand what might come with your uh, fuel right pump. Sometimes it's nice to get an eye on it before you end up purchasing it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, check out future videos. I will be doing an install video on this as well as a future uh, product review. Um, so thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Dang, fly!